Okay, now in this video, we're going to be placing the dimensions around our uh, house plan. So for the dimensions, what you can do is you can use this um, align dimensions on the quick access toolbar right over there. And uh, if you don't want to use it from here, you can also go to the annotate tab and you'll find the aligned uh, dimensions tool right over there. Okay, so we're just going to take on the align dimensions tool and here it's going to be, let's see, wall center lines, yep. And then pick individual reference points. Instead of individual reference points, if you take the individual reference points, then you have to choose uh, the individual reference points in yourselves. For example, let's say this is going to be my reference point one, this is going to be my reference point two, so like that. So this is something that we don't want. We want it to be automatic. So you're going to choose the entire walls and go to the options and then turn on openings and take the width. Now if you select the wall and you can see that all the dimensions are now being taken even without your intervention in there. Okay, so before we can give the dimension, I just noticed that we need, we are in need of a few more windows there. So we're just going to place a few more windows. So this was our type uh, third. Okay, so this is the type that we're going to use. Let's go to window. Let's, uh, this is the window that we want. And we want this window, let's see, on the side one and another one on that and we want one window in this particular location and another window on this particular location or maybe we can just go with one window only select it and delete it select this window use your uh, arrow keys on your keyboard to give it a proper location there we go and there's that that is done okay all right Okay, so that's that, that's done. All right, there we have it. Now we're gonna go with the dimensions. Let's select the align dimensions, entire walls. Yep, options are all okay. Now select the wall and you can see the dimensions are being uh, given there. Put the dimensions somewhere right over there. That's one wall done. Now there isn't something we want. Let's take another wall. Let's put the dimensions right over there. There you go, it's done. Let's take this wall. Let's put the dimension there. Let's take this wall. Put the dimension right over there. Let's take this wall and put the dimensions right over there. Okay, so I think we now have all the dimensions given there. So what we can do is press on the escape button and just do uh, remove this elevation bubbles. You can just select them and use your uh, cursor on your keyboard. Okay, just select them using the selection and then move them up. So in Revit, just like AutoCAD, there are two types of selection. So if you so if you click and then drag on the rightward side, this is the um, entire engulfed area selection. So whenever the line is touching the object, it is not being selected. Only when the object is covered by the selection area, the object is being selected. Okay. And if you want to use the touch selection, what you can do is just do a click and move your cursor to the leftward side. And you can see that whenever it is touching an object, it is automatically being selected. So we're going to select that, move that out a bit. And then again, we're going to select this object, move it out on the leftward side. Okay, there we go. There, that's that. That's done. So here we now have our dimensions given there and yeah, so our dimensions there are done. Next up, we're going to be creating the rooms here and then create a legend for the rooms here. Okay. All right. So yeah, that was it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you got to learn something new.